So, uh, here we are again with uh, Philippe Leroy. Tu es un roi. Un roi. So, Hi, Aline. Nice to uh, so, Nice uh, to have you here. Thank it's you. a pleasure to interview you and it's a pleasure to meet you again. Uh, your Same face here. is very familiar to me. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy to know that you are a business a businessman, but on top of that, you run a nonprofit organization. That is correct. Yeah. So, the role um, of your school is to spread the French language in the barrier, in right. the so Palo Alto. We, we, we started this 15 years ago with um, a bunch of um, French people, or francophone, I would say, uh, who decided to uh, put our kids into the um, American program, mm -hmm. to uh, the local school, Okay. you know, in order for our kids to um, be able to have an experience of what it is to live in America. Oh. Um, the problem was uh, the language, how to pass on our uh, heritage uh, and um, the American school uh, language system uh, is made for like uh, teaching French as like a very, uh, I mean, a level of, not, not a level of a bilingual kids. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't appropriate for kids. So that's why we decided to start it a little nonprofit where we would uh, teach our kids French with, um, with some teacher in the school and recreate like a little French school. Nice. Uh, so we did this 15 years ago with a bunch, bunch of people and we um, studied the programs that we were going to use. There was some program from Canada. We had uh, there's a French program called the FLE. Uh, and there's another program which everybody's familiar with. It's called the CNED, okay. which is a um, program from the French Education Ministry of French of Education in France which they send the program abroad yeah. all around the world uh, exactly for that purpose when um, parents don't have uh, at the beginning that was when parents didn't have uh, access to to french schools it was for them to being able to continue the french program at home i see so it was designed for the, the dad or the mom We've like you know had a couple of hours at night to just like do the French program. So originally, actually, the program was full with like um, uh, history, geography, uh, mm -hmm. mathematics, mm -hmm. and all those things. Mm -hmm. We choose just the French, the, the French because okay. we didn't. I mean, the kids, our kids already go to American school, so they already do the the mathematics and all that stuff. So okay. the only thing, only thing we were interested of was 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 the French part of it. Wow. So uh, the CNED was very appropriate. That's, that was like what we decided to, uh, to, to do uh, for and various the, reasons. And the CNED let you do that, take only the French part? That is correct. That's, it is correct. They, there's a, a, when you go to their website, and you, ac you actually, the parents have to subscribe to okay. the CNED. Yeah. And so they receive the books. There is a, there's a place when it's called à la carte. Ah, à la so carte. So you can do history only, That's fine. And geography and history. You can do only mathematics. I mean, you, so you choose. You and you chose French. So we chose just the French, and uh, we were like, oh, how, how is that going to work? With you know, kids spending already like you know, that many hours in the regular school, are they right. going to be tired? Da, 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 da. And we did find out um, by, by talking to the CNED, as a matter of fact, and talking to other people who, who were experienced teaching at, at home, yeah. the CNED program, that we could do it with about four hours a week. Wow. You know. Uh, during the, the school year. On top of what they... Regularly. That is correct. That is correct. So we came up with uh, a schedule which is now uh, Tuesday and Thursday. Yeah. We've only two hours every time, so it's yeah. four hours a week. Yeah. And uh, we were able to accomplish a full grade year of, starting of in about the middle of September all the way until like uh, end of May or beginning of June. We, we, we followed the, the, school, um, the school calendar. Is Most your program mostly an oral immersion? Uh, we, the, the CNED program has both, is writing and reading. And oral? And oral. Okay. So uh, we just follow exactly, basically, the instruction from the CNED. We don't even have to come up with our own. It's, yeah. it's very well structured, okay. like weekly, of what we need to do. Mm -hmm. um, there is so there is a written part? Exactly. Oh, okay. Exactly. okay. Uh, we, we, we follow so the program. At the end of the month, there is an evaluation. Mm -hmm. 
yeah. which is done um, at the school, so yeah. parents can actually follow the progress of their children. Really? And um, so, so we, we go from there, you know, until, and we've, we even have at the end like a little graduation thing for the kids who just do the, do the whole program. Most of the parents are French? Um, f I would say francophone, oh, okay. but one okay. one of the parents like that is correct. Parent? One of the parents usually is French. Oh, and the other or one might be uh, exactly nationality. exactly because the, the the curriculum is really made for like I don't know if we could say that, but it's it's uh, um, uh, French as a first language. Okay, it is not based for like French as a second language. Okay, you so know, it's so you totally would not, French. That is correct. Totally that French. is correct. You could not. I mean, we have had some some kids who dropped from like um, uh, French American school, which already had like a pretty uh, okay. high level. Mm -hmm. They were able to merge into our program. Um, but mostly the kids that comes to us already are bilingual. So bilingual also means, they, they, like, like for kindergarten, yeah. it doesn't mean then, um, so, so they, they go to the, the American school, you know, from yeah. nursery into kin. Yeah. The, the, the CNED program start in the grand section, which is kindergarten. Right. It's not before that. Okay. So many other kids, uh, if the parents have done their job, which means speaking French to their kids, they come to our program and they already understand French okay. fluently. So they're not totally lost. But very often, they don't speak French. Ah. And it's okay. Well, how it's could absolutely they? okay. How could they? Um, because they do understand everything. It w I mean, if they arrive at fifth grade, it's be hard. So they're like, you know, like five years old. Yeah, so very oh, often, five years old is okay. So yeah, that's kindergarten. So when, when they come from like, you know, American school mm -hmm. or nursery or whatever, they, yeah. they usually, parents are working, some of them. So I'm thinking yeah. of like specific case. Yeah. Parents are working. Um, so the kids don't actually do speak French, oh. but they do understand everything okay. because they have had the immersion from the parents. Mm -hmm. um, so from there, it's our job yeah. to basically follow the CNED, follow the instruction and uh, it's kind of like a miracle when that happened because it comes all, all, all at once. Okay. So sometimes the parents are, oh, but you know they don't speak French, so what are we gonna do? I say, well, you just keep them in. Okay. You know, and we have also it kids coming happen. from France they who don't up. even speak English. Oh. But so when they go and play on the playground, they find a way. You ah, know? yes. Because yes. one understands, but it's they, just... they pick up real fast. Exactly. Okay. So what's happening? It's like, uh, like it's usually happened in first grade, yeah. or the, sometimes the end of yeah. first grade. Yeah. Then it comes out. Okay. Then and it's funny when it happens. It's it's very like you know heartbreaking actually because when it comes out, it comes out all at once. Well, yeah. That's it's it. not it very is. well structured, whatever. But they just they just feel confident mm -hmm. enough. They have enough structure and vocabulary to like that's it. So sometimes it comes out at home or during our class or sometimes it happens uh, during the vacation time. You know. Just but like a kid, as, just like a kid who's three years old and start to talk. Right. So, but as long as they come with us with the understanding, that's the basic. We cannot have a children who do, does not understand a word. The, a word yeah. You know? Not even it, a word. They they need to be fluent and understanding the direction. Okay. And that's when the parents uh, come come. They, they need to have done their job. Okay. As and, and I've seen so many times. So you cannot take a kid who just arrived, let's say, from uh, an English-speaking country. No. You cannot. No. They'll be lost. Correct. So fifth, fifth, Correct. five I, I years old, mad, they can pick I get up. mad at dads and moms yeah. who are French or yeah. francophone. And they don't speak and French. And do to not speak French with their kids. That yeah. really makes me mad. Why? <laughs> because it's the easiest thing in the world. Mm. Just speak your mother tongue to them. Okay. You know? And s I don't know. It's... Uh, I've done it. I'm, yeah. I've seen millions of people doing it. Okay, and it's but the uh, easiest thing in the world. You just have to apply it from the from the early edge. Okay. Start speaking French with them. Okay, so you said yourself that uh, your kids are from uh, French and American Correct, my person. wife is American. So when the wife was present, you spoke in English? No. You didn't? Mm -mm. How did she understand you? She learned. Oh, she learned. <laughs> I, I learned English. Oh, you learned English you know? and she learned French. So at the dinner table, that would be me speaking French, her speaking English. Oh. And kids answering English to her, kids, my kids answering in French to me. Wow. Mm -hmm. For real? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Oh, I, I know so many people who do, have done that. And, and it, it does work. Kids, um, kids have... Can they, switch? They, they automatically switch, you know. <laughs> and it, 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 but it has to be started from an early age. All right. Because it has to be like something they do automatically. Oh. You know? 
I mean, my kids, my, my, my son is 20, one is 24, one 19 and 15. When they, they, they turn around to me, yes. they will speak French to me. Wow. I mean, as you can tell right now, I do speak English. Yeah. So they know that they could, you know, do speak the easy English. thing yeah. and speak English. They don't. Mm. You know, I remember when they were little, um, I, they were like, you know, starting like answering in English. And I used to tell them, I don't, I don't understand what you're saying. Can you please repeat? Can you please? And you, you have to force them. It doesn't come naturally. Yeah. It's our job. Yeah, just like you had to switch today, right? right? Was it harder to do the French part because you didn't speak it in a long time? Or you, you can do both easily? No, I'm losing my French, obviously. I mean, I've been here for 30 years, and doing the so, interview before in French was difficult. It was, and this is easier for you? No, I'm not really bilingual, because ah. I learned English way, way later in life. You know? oh, wow. Only bilingual can really, you are bilingual, you can switch from one to another. Yeah. For me, they're both hard. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, because uh, you didn't, you sp on your job, you speak English. Mm -hmm. I mean, because you also have... Although it's a French restaurant where my, my, my work is, so it's like a lot of French people come, so we, we play around. You speak in French? We play around, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. You're, a lot of Francophiles also come to your restaurant. That is correct. They that like correct. the French so culture. We, we keep here. But even with the the French speaking one who have yeah. been living here for so long, we speak Franglais, ah. you know, so we mix. We mix the words. Yeah, and sometimes after mixing it for, for so long, yeah. we don't even, um, we don't even realize we do it. Yeah. Until, yeah, the, a word sneak in Until in you the call your language. mom yeah. in France yeah. and she's like, what did you just say? <laughs> you know? It's true. Sometimes we don't even think about it. We say a word in English, especially with computer words. Yeah. And then we switch back to real French, right. and right. a but lot, it's okay. Of, it's okay. a lot, a lot of French dictionary now have uh, computer words mm -hmm. in it, like Google. You, I'm going to Google yeah. that uh, yeah. that word, mm -hmm. so it becomes. I a mean, verb. language evolve and you know and pick up things from all over the place. From uh, one culture to the and other. That's great. I love yeah. it. Especially uh, that America is built on startups yeah. and you're going to have to, the kids work on computers, so they have to learn the mm. English words. But you know what I, what I notice, and I, I, I don't really have an explanation, I'm sure a linguist will have an explanation for that, but when my kids speak French, yeah. they're, they're, they're very, I mean, they work very hard to find the French word. Ah. Rather than use the substitute. Rather than I do that all the time. Like I, I switch, you know, a word in English because oh. I don't find it. I mean, okay. I don't know if you do that. I do yeah. that all the time. I do that. My kids don't. They, they would stop up. and would say, "Hmm, what's the word in French?" <laughs> Although they know in English. <laughs> oh yeah, they're very honest. So that's 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 very interesting. Yeah. I mean, so it's 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 a sort of a purity, yeah. and they come, I think, because mm -hmm. they learn a language and they want to. They don't want to mix it. They when right? me, I, you know, I probably don't. I, I don't speak very good French anymore. I, I mean, in English, I have that strong accent, so I'm <laughs> just like, you know, using whatever I got, right? A pot pourri or a uh, pot pourri, yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah, so, so whether at work or yeah. anywhere, you mix. I mix. Okay. I but the people you have hired to teach French are supposed to speak French? From the CNED program, we follow the rules from the CNED. We don't okay. use a word of English into our class. Oh, okay. Okay, and that's that, what that, I wanted that, to that make clear. No, they don't mix and has, match. Exactly. That's because we're teaching there. Mm. And we're teaching like, you know, the, the way it's supposed to be taught. And then you know, the kids do whatever they want afterward. So but we're giving them a tool. Oh. You know, and we don't want to, you know, start like, you know, making the mistake that we are making. You tell the <laughs> teacher they cannot switch. No, no, no. It's actually, it's my teacher who told that. I mean, oh. We have meetings all the time. And uh, they said, no, no, no. I mean, no otherwise mixing. it's easier because we have those kids who come, they do understand French, but they don't speak it for whatever uh, reason. Sometimes yeah. they're shy. Da, da, da. They don't practice They want home. you to speak English. Oh. They would, oh, my God, please. You know. uh -huh. But no, we don't. I mean, they're, they're doing basically what I did with my kids. Mm. No. No, okay. No. So you make mm. sure that you hire French speaking. Oh, they all like native. mother tongue. They're all native. Oh, natives. Oh, yes. Yeah. Absolutely. So that's that's a good use that they are native. They're mm -hmm. not tempted to go to their own native right. language. Correct. That's that's awesome. Right. So your school is from what age to what age? <laughs> so we follow the CNED. The CNED unfortunately only start uh, kindergarten. Kindergarten. So that's uh, CP. Yeah. Un cours préparatoire. Is it? No, kindergarten is. No, kindergarten before. is maternel. Maternel. Grande section de maternel. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Grande okay. section. So it's about five years old, I think. Yeah. You know? So five And then we go CP, C1, C2. We go until this. Well, 
we go until we have a class. Okay. And so far, we always have had a sixth grade class. Okay. Which is funny because with the American system, sixth grade and, and, and CZM is the time when it's the oh, same. Oh, it's the same number. Yeah, then it, then that, it, is, it that, is, that is true. So it's the beginning of middle school in America. It's the beginning of real school, so a lot of work for mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. So very often, you know, uh, it kind of drops from them. We have okay. had some uh, cinquième, so seventh grade, and, and quatrième, eighth grade, but we're talking about two or three kids. Okay. You know. Now, um, do you, because you mentioned that they can go all, all the way up to the international baccalaureate? To the baccalaureate. Do they, if there is no class at 12th grade, they learn on their own? So they either, uh, that is correct. I mean, they do right. it at home. They have or, to do it on their know, own. Or something. I mean, a lot of schools, I mean, even American school actually now uh, have an international, the international uh, uh, program, program available. For that. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so they choose that. I mean, I would love to, to be able to teach them that and to do that, but we are very like small you try program. I mean, we're only in one place also. We are like, yeah. you know, in Palo Alto, border of, of Menlo Park. Yeah. It's, it's hard to access for some people. Of course, of course. So we're very, I mean, I would love to open others you know in, in other places yeah. but um, you know no this is right now as soon as a class can be formed you form it absolutely You're if right. we have like you know a terminal you know uh, uh, with six kids we'll, we'll do it the create, CNED is there you yeah. know the parents just subscribe to the CNED they get the program we have the teacher so, we have so many teachers for that kind of grade actually. okay yeah. we would love to do it <laughs> yes so that would be an easy one to create correct yeah, yeah. so yeah. it's up to the demand and uh, you are the one who decides if that that's class right. that's will right. be formed or not. Correct. Yeah, that's great. And we're lucky enough to have also like a very good uh, location. We are yeah. the German American school. And uh, oh, how uh, accessible is it? It's really close to the 101. Oh, 101. It's accessible. Okay. But um, what's great, it's like we have the whole program all at once at the same time. So everybody's yeah. together. Yeah. So they can do carpooling. It always has been a, a big issue for us. Oh, that's right. You Everybody so has a car in Palo Alto. Right. <laughs> so the carpooling you know, has been working very well. Yeah. But like I said, the big issue is to bring everybody you know, at the same time. At the you know, same at, time, on you know, time. From two, I mean, from four to six, you know, it's traffic time and those kinds of things. So oh, yeah. okay. It always has been, you know, the thing. Yeah, but four is not there exactly is, traffic There's yet. Uber now, and interestingly enough, it actually works also with kids, so. Yeah. Some people are Uber takes kids? Yeah, oh, it's, it's a different Uber. I don't have the name of it. Oh, it's a kid Uber, yeah. Right. I heard about it. Right. That is awesome. Yeah. So we have people actually coming from Fremont who mm. actually have their kids and they're picking some other kids who, I mean, it's, Oh, that's awesome. I know there was a startup who was doing mm -hmm. that and they were very successful. Yeah. So that's awesome. Yeah. Yes. yes. So, and you can be trust, uh, they're, they're very trustworthy because they do oh, track. Oh, it's a different thing. Yeah. I mean, you fill up a form, they have all your information. And yeah. All yeah. Of it's very safe. They call the parents or send a text when they pick up the kid. They mm. send a text when they, I mean, it's the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's I, very I don't safe. Have the, I'm going to, you know, it's actually good. I think about that because I'm going to put this on my website. For that people to, uh, be the able name to of the yeah, people of to get the in touch with it. It's very important. Yeah, it's very successful. I know. Mm -hmm. I, I heard about it when they started it, like uh, maybe five years ago. But then it grew so fast. Well, because kids have after school program. They go to the swimming. They go to the piano teaching. Yes, da, da, da. And the parents are working. Mm, you know? So that's a very. It's a need that's being Correct. fulfilled. Yeah. So filled, not fulfilled. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So your role. Are you there the two hours? No. 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 I'm you there. Are... Um, I'm there at the beginning of the year. I'm yeah. there during the year once in a while. And then you have I'm a principal. I'm there too when parents want to visit the class or oh. you know those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. but, and uh, and you have a principal there. I have. Uh, like well, a... not really. But I, 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 my teachers have been with us for so long. They all like. Like no. it's part of they're their all life. Little, exactly. Okay. Exactly. So they don't need supervision or anything. Mm -hmm. They're yeah. they're very trustworthy. Yeah, it's cool. Yes. So I'm glad you got lucky on that. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, to supervise people is very hard sometimes. Mm -hmm. But two hours is doable. Yeah, and they have people who've been with us for so long, and you know, oh, they are. They like what they are part do. of. Like like when we have meeting, there's not like me as a as a as director or whatever. We're all like together. We're oh. like a little family. Thing there. Yeah, it's really nice. But I noticed that you do dot org. Is that because you decided to make it nonprofit? Sure. Oh, you are. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. From day one, we we started a nonprofit. Yeah. 
Oh, okay, okay. Because some school are dot com. <laughs> I don't know why. Mm -hmm. But uh, a lot. Uh, well, no, we have a non profit. I mean, if anybody wants to do donation. <laughs> no, I don't know why we did this. I think at the beginning we had a couple of lawyers, parents yeah. on yeah. our side, and like, you know, let's they do say, it as a non profit. It. It's better because it's we easier, all have another job. No pay taxes and all kinds of stuff. Uh, you know, yeah. And with it. I, I, you still have know. to file at the end of the year or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we follow. All the you do all the things. <laughs> no, yeah. but that's good. But because you know the different uh, facet of a nonprofit and you have a regular business that's for profit. No, no, this is a it's a different. It's, a, it's like a school. I mean, you know, yeah. it's, the structure is exactly done as a school. Mm -hmm. should be, uh, that's awesome. Yeah. So, um, so I'd like you maybe to let us know, since this is also a social school, tell us how you make it social for people outside of the so, classroom. So since the, the parents uh, uh, are like, have their kids into the American system, yeah, uh, they are basically involved into um, the, the, the American family things yeah. in their own school. Yeah. But somehow, not like when they go to a French American school, they're kind of disconnected with their culture okay. and disconnected with their IE people. You know? oh, so you and by creating this, uh, yeah. the PAFIA program, and when everybody is together at the same time, we kind of like also have recreated a, a, a little social network when people sometimes, I mean, they, they bring their kids and they stay, or they go for a coffee actually afterward because they're like all well, French speaking. Let's and, go speak. You know, so Let's there, there's a, a very like social aspect also for the parents uh, mm -hmm. to be part they of this. They meet other parents. Exactly. And, okay. and also for the kids. I mean, they invite them for like birthday party or, oh, yeah. you know, things like this. Yeah. We're trying to also like follow like a, like little like uh, things we have in France, like we do the Galette des Rois, you know, or, um, in Christmas we have a little um, party uh, with the Bûche de Noël, the Yule Log, I think it's called in English, oh, or something like wow. that. We do, uh, we, do, we, do, we do the crepes also uh, in February. We do, um, then we have like the little graduation party, you know, uh, at the end of the year and uh, with the buffet and things like that. I mean, we're trying to like, and, and <laughs> Some years, you know, people had like ideas of like doing like a, a night out at the, the movie theater or something. I mean, it's, it's, every year is, is something different. It all depends also. It's more, it's very like um, uh, a program which is run also on uh, voluntary. So it's like okay. if somebody has a good idea. I know we Let, had a guy let's, who. Let's do it. Yeah, we had a guy who was like, uh, he was a, um, a charcutier. I don't know, he said that. Oh, thing. yeah, he knows how to make. Uh, yeah, so he was like, you know, selling some foie gras and things like this after and school. He, I mean, all those kids, kinds of things, you know. He taught the kids how to do it. No, no, we didn't have time for that. <laughs> But, uh, you know, it was like, uh, that oh, was very ludicrous. A little, a very a little get together. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. We had a coffee break also uh, for parents who were, you know, dropping their kids and they wanted to stay. So we brought like, you know, some Starbucks and, you know. That's and, good that you uh, in incorporate that yeah. into the oh, program. That's very, that was very important to us also to just bring a, a very social aspect into this. So everybody can get something. The parents can also get something. Yeah. They can make friends, you know, along the way. Mm hmm so you probably in 15 years made some friends yourself yeah yeah no absolutely yeah absolutely <laughs> and as a matter of fact that's you know why i'm still involved into that because my, my kids are not in it but i get something out of it you know so i'm, I'm oh, still yeah, in touch your kids are grown now they're gone You're i'm still in touch now with you know my culture and yeah and i'm helping also i mean there's like we uh, we were trying to actually put a number the other day of how many kids went through our program and that was staggering since you're a it's chef staggering. did you ever think of doing a little cooking a french cooking class uh, you, there's it's so not many things you can and we don't have a lot of time yeah I mean, it's the, not part of the those curriculum. two hours we have you know minus uh, the um, the recreation i mean the time off in the middle when oh you and you have to follow up. the program we have to follow the program and it's a very rigorous program okay you know so i mean i wish we could but no, it's not happening now. It's, uh, yeah, that's what we do now. No, because one time um, the bilingual school um, invited the kids when we had the large studio yeah. to the studio. Yeah. And uh, Amelio did uh, a cooking demonstration where he made uh, an island with fruit and vegetables mm -hmm. and birds. And, and that was so amazing. Well, the, 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 the one in Palo Alto, they invited me one time to make the Galette des Rois. Oh, really? And I think ever since now, the kids actually make their own Galette des Rois at the, oh, at the, awesome. the, the spot in Palo Alto. Oh, so okay. they, they, you know, it's, 
Yeah. It's only four ingredients. But those guys, right? they have like the, the, it's a full time program, so they have the kids all day. So oh, they can, yeah, they can incorporate. They it. can incorporate those kinds of things. For us, it's unfortunate. Just two hours. So it's four to six, twice a week. Tuesday and Thursday, every Tuesday and Thursday, and we follow the, the calendar of uh, Palo Alto, so the school, school. calendar with the, the vacation and things like that. That's awesome. So it's a great idea for it's a solution for some parents mm -hmm. who want to immerse their kids in right. French. So that's awesome mm -hmm. news. Did you test, for example, the kids? Oh, you say you test them at sixth grade, see if their level is that of the yeah. French. Right. You do test them. We do. We do. Usually okay. what we do is we incorporate them for the two hours of our class. Yeah. And the teacher can tell right away. We don't need two hours, actually. Yeah. If yeah, a kids yeah. cannot keep up, you put them in a class a little bit lower or something like that. Um, the, the CNED is, is very rigorous. Okay. So, um, if a, I mean, it never really happened to us uh, with kids who come from a bilingual family, mm -hmm. you know, to say, no, it's not going to work. Ah. You know, the only kids then we could not take are mm -hmm. kids from like non-speaking French family. That's too hard. And they were just trying to see if they could, you know, come to our program. Yeah. Even the one who had had some uh, f French tutoring at home. Yeah. You know. I, I, it happened, I think, it one happened or two times, but yeah. most of the time it cannot. Okay. And, and I tell the parents, and, and they do understand also, that if the program is not appropriate for their kids, they're going to hate the program. They're going to yeah. hate the language. Yeah. They're going to turn off. They're not, it has to be fun. It has to be somehow easy. For both. You know? Yeah. Um, so, so that's what the CNED is usually made for the parents to do the program at home. It's yeah. really hard for yeah. dad or mom to do this. On when you own. When you're in the class with five or six other kids, uh, it's so much easier, you yeah. know. It just flow, you know. I mean, I'm not into the education, but I've heard that all the time oh. from teacher and said, you know, it's easier to have a whole class of 20 kids than to have one. Then you have to keep his attention all the time oh. and things like that. Yeah, you know? of course. Yeah. So, so yeah. it's good that when they together, together, they follow together. That is correct. So that's awesome. That's awesome. I I am enjoyed talking to you. I think Same it's a here, great yeah. idea. Thank you very much. And uh, so for doing this for hopefully myself. that. Uh, you know, that will keep going another 15 years or even more. <laughs> so thank you so much. Definitely right. Thank you very much.